Elevator's been fixed. Let's get back to hauling some grain. guys something something really cool a new system that's installed on these west steel bins these west steel bins parent company is agi agi also offers another product or service called sure track and sure track covers a whole broad spectrum of agriculture needs whether it's propane management soil sampling uh, monitoring field conditions or like we use on this farm the bin manager system i'll show you come over here so this is your fan. It's a big fan. It's a 10 horse motor on here. And it, it, uh, it kicks a lot of air into that bin. Uh, if you don't have the bin wheat in the floor or grain in the floor or whatever you have, it'll actually blow the floor off the bottom of the concrete, the aeration floor. The thing is, is what's wired to this motor. And that's this right here. The bin manager, SureTrack by AGI. This is a cool system. See that right there? That's a sensor, sensor down there. There's a wire that goes all the way to the top. I'll show you guys a second inside the bin what it looks like. But it all works together to keep you informed on what's going on inside that grain bin. Over the years, we've experienced a lot of moldy grain in our grain bins. We've got some smaller bins, we've got some decent sized bins, but the bottom line is most of our bins don't have very good aeration in them. And if you put wet grain in there, it can spoil. And when it spoils, you can have a complete loss or just a mess you gotta clean up and some big discounts at the elevator. This system helps keep you aware of what's going on in your bin. This is our, all of our work. Everything we do on the farm, guys, goes into grain bins over there, into these things. And it's sitting there, and it's not money in the bank until this gets to the elevator. The grain elevator then writes a check and sends you the money. Well, if it spoils in here, it's gone. And there's no insurance to cover that. If you look up on top of this bin, this is our tallest bin, it's a 3609. That's a cell phone antenna, it's cellular. And it's talking to the cell phone towers, which are, well, two miles that way. Good line of sight. It also kicks out a Wi-Fi network that the other two bins connect to and talk to. And that system is connected to the SureTrack system, which is available on my app in my pocket, where I can look and see exactly what each level of temperature and moisture in this bin is. It's pretty cool. So this is what the bin manager sure track looks like on your desktop. Here's our setup right here under equipment. Let's load this real fast. So here's just a rough layout of our bin yard. You notice four bins. That's because we have one we have not erected yet. It's coming. So here's the four bins. We'll just look at these three. This is the largest. This is the 14803. It's hardwood spring weight. This one's not built yet. That's coming soon this year. We got the concrete poured. And then this one's another hard red spring weight, uh, not quite full, but it's a little bit smaller bushels. And then this is barley. So we had a little bit of barley from our pathetic barley crop. So you can see this one's got 26,900 bushels of spring weight. This one's got 17,000 bushels, and this one's just over 4,600 bushels. So you can pull up the grain bin here and you can see all the sensors as they hang from the ceiling to the floor. And each one of those are temperature readings for every foot or two and moisture readings. Here's just a graph in case you didn't want to look at the 3D. And you can go back in time and actually look at what happened weeks, months ago. It keeps a record of all the time that the grain has been stored in that bin. So this is the mobile version on your Android or iPhone. As you can see here, the bins are displayed very similar to what the desktop shows. You can click on them and you can enable the 3D scrolling so you can see all the sensors and look at different levels and see if there's any hot spots or anything that looks unusual. So all in all, it's very similar to the desktop version, but 
handy because it's in your pocket and you get alerts and notifications as things happen. Now back to the fan. It's wired into the fan. And here's the thing. If this system detects an irregular amount of heat being generated inside, it'll actually alert you and say, hey, there's a problem in the bin. Or you can set it on automatic where it uses algorithms to maintain the temperature and humidity of the product in the bin by your fan. So if it's hot, it'll kick the fan automatically and cool the grain down. If it's too wet, it will kick the fans on when the humidity is low outside because it has a humidity sensor. If it's too dry inside, say you want to add moisture, that's the part that we really like. When it comes time to haul, like we're doing right now, we can actually tell the system to turn on at night when the humidity is high at nighttime, and it'll take water mass from the atmosphere and pump it in and slowly push pounds, physical pounds of, of water into the grain, which then makes us more money at the elevator because it's worth more because a truckload weighs more, which means we get paid for more grain than we actually have. That's not a bad thing. That's not being criminal. That's being honest. It's you, the grain is always fluctuating, but they do have limits as to how much moisture you can bring in in your grain. So our goal is to get it from where it's at as close to that limit that they allow as possible. So we get maximum payout and the system over time will pay for itself. Really cool. It just doesn't work very good in the winter because the available humidity, moisture in the atmosphere when it's really cold is very limited. So you have to do it when it's warmer out. And we didn't get the system up and running in time and it got cold too soon. So we weren't able to take advantage of that as much as we would have liked. But you can take nine, 10 moisture wheat and 14 say is the limit. And you can bring that up to that 13, 13 and a half moisture. And that adds some weight at the end of the day, you're making money. So this is the grain from 2021 or a little bit of it that we have. And this right here is the sensors. There's one, two, three, four of them. And they all hang from the ceiling. And they've got a sensor in every one of these, I believe these green little bumps here. And each one of those indicates that level of temperature and moisture that's in the grain. And the bins look good as you can see on the app on my phone right here. Now each time this grain sweep goes around, it cuts a little like fishing wire is all it really is, a fishing line or a little string and it's tied to the floor and that just keeps these center when you fill it. So after every time you empty the bin completely out, you gotta come in real quick and just tie a new string on the end. It's not real hard, but it's necessary.
Whoa, look at that. Brand new grain cars. I've never seen them gray like that before. Brand new, wow. That's nice. Oh, that didn't, that didn't last very long. But back to the old stuff. go got the grader out county's doing some work on the roads i love this i'll put up with the grader being on the road any day because it means for nice roads appreciate it guys thank you and the choo-choo train's coming again Okay, well I'm waiting to fill up, we're gonna play a little game. This game's gonna be called, what's your favorite color, go. Red. Red. Green. 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 And green. Okay, glad yeah, we got that out of the way. Well, not much is coming out. That means that the center gate, the cone of wheat, is now all in the center of the gate. So I gotta open up the rest of the gates with a sweep is to clean all that out and then I can engage the sweep and it'll start going. Let's turn some, uh, turn some levers here. All right, okay, it's cleaned out. So now let's engage the sweep. Just got the door open, the guys are here, so they're gonna take care of starting your work behind that suite. And then uh, when I get back, we'll get to it. That's it. That's the last of spring wheat 2021 crop. With those two bins right there. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> we'll fill them more next time. But we're done. So that frees up some more time this winter to do some other stuff. Yeah, about that. I get the truck all dirty for him and then I make him wash it. Uh, I got to drive it for a couple hours and then I get to clean it. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> no worries. Guess what? Wiggles is gonna go home. He's gonna leave us. It's time. It's time. Oh, I, gotta, I, gotta, yeah. I got a tournament to win. That's true, fishing. Ah, oh, that's true, yeah. What kind of tournament? Perch. Perch. Yeah. And how many fish can you catch? I don't know what the rules are gonna be this time. 
Sometimes it's at 100, sometimes it's 25, sometimes it's 50, but. Just add them all up and you can small, catch them. Like small. Oh, you have to small. catch small ones? We're going small. Most numbers. The smallest you, smallest weight you could possibly get with either it's 100 fish or 25 fish or 50 fish, the smallest weight possible. We're not going for big or nothing. We're going to go for tinies. Anyways, <laughs> what happens we finished up hauling all the wheat. Brad helped us and it was just those two bins. Isn't that crazy? 2021, that was it. It's fast. But that's all the hauling that we can do this year and we're done and it was good weather and Brad helped us out. It was almost like I didn't really work here until today. <laughs> Yeah. And then you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he was only here for like two days. Yeah. Barely even two days. And Nick stole my truck. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? I'm going home. I mean, that, that, he's doing something about it. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Brad, appreciate it. Thank you're you. And Absolutely. I keep calling him Wiggles and Brad. I don't even know which one. And Brattlesnake. He's one of those guys. He's going home. That's all that matters. Bye, Brad. Bye, Wiggles. I'm making so much noise. Yeah. We do need to get back to work. All right, see you, Brad. Bye.